And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. For the return of War Mother's Control, I uh, had a donation deck to play some War Mother's Control, and I think this kind of fits perfectly now with patch 1.4 in this patch 1.4 updates. So let's try this out because we have a couple of, of new things here. We have six mana Anivia now. So let's see if this makes a difference with Anivia being six mana instead of seven. See if we can uh, do anything uh, else that's pretty cool with Anivia. And this list is playing She Who Wanders and plays a lot of She Who Wanders. Three copies of this 10 mana 10-10 10, 10 that now has regeneration. So we'll see how powerful this is. Now, the She Who Wanders is a play trigger. And so if you get She Who Wanders in with War Mother's Call, uh, you don't get that play trigger. But still, putting in 10-10s ten with regeneration doesn't seem like a bad thing to be doing <laughs> with War Mother's Call. Anyway, so, that's, uh, so we get to test out two uh, new cards that got buffed with Anivia and She Who Wanders. But yeah, our deck is is uh, all about the top end. We have eight total cards that cost less than five mana, <laughs> which is not very many. And then basically everything cost five, six, seven, nine, or more. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're just hope hoping that, uh, you know, hoping we don't get too far behind. We're hoping to ramp with Catalyst of Aeon to get to our top end faster. And then we want to play War Mother's Call and have War Mother's Call put in um, all this powerful stuff. Commander Ledros, She Who Wanders, Anivia, Thresh, Rekindler, um, even Avros and Hearth Guards, all that powerful stuff. Okay, let's uh, give this a try. So we're going to go play five games. We're going to go play it over in Ranked. Now the rank just reset. So we are Platinum? Four, I believe. All right, Noxus Elusives. I guess Thresh, Thresh can challenge. That's probably better than the Hearth Guard. Maybe I should just get rid of that too. Um, and honestly, maybe I should just Mulligan Sentry, to be 100% honest. Avros and Sentry doesn't really block Elusives. All right, but we got our uh, Catalyst of Aeons. Probably the most important card. I also want to see like Withering Whale, Grass the Undying, those kind of cards as well. <clears throat> I'm just going to take this and go Catalyst next turn. Because Catalyst turn three means... I have five mana next turn, so we can play Thresh next turn. Hey, Wrinkler. Good afternoon. Hope you're having a good day. That's my resting face. I love a taste of the action. No Withering Whale, no Grasp, the Undying. But we do get to play Anivia next turn, which is kind of like Withering Whale. Even though we take four damage. A storm. like all these other turns have been. So looks like my plan is Vile Feast, Green Glade Duo, and Catalyst? Maybe. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. Better with company. 
is you. All right, never mind. Plan is the box. Take out both of those. I know a way. You. Okay, good. And I'm going to just bank that spell mana. Again, Sentry and Hapless Aristocrat don't really matter for this matchup. Uh, phone's basically plugged. Or it's charged, I mean. Okay. One mana short from a Nevia plus Catalyst. Don't like attacking in with the Nivea against Crimson Disciple, right? So I want Crimson Disciple to be dead first, ideally. Hey, for Amy. Grenadiers. See the Nebastian border from here. All right, well, I'm just gonna be playing the Catalyst this turn and War Mother's Call next turn. And so that kind of gave me two extra mana that I can use because. I uh, don't have all the mana for those. It'd be a great time to draw She Who Wanders. Oh, darn. You know, like, if we just drew She Who Wanders, just obliterate all of those? Wow, that would have been great. Um... War Motor's Call can't actually do anything, can it? No, we can't stop. We don't have Avalanche in our deck? It feels a little weird. Can't stop those elusives. Yeah, we wouldn't even take two damage from the 3-1 if we would have had a She Who Wanders. Down to six. Puts me down to four. So they're basically hoping they draw. Um, yeah, I can play you. They're hoping they draw Decimate. Yeah, I'm hoping they don't draw Decimate. GG's. Yeah, I feel like our deck could probably use some Avalanche. That does seem a little weird, and also, honestly, playing Glimpse Beyond seems a little weird too, right? 
It's like we only have eight cards that cost less than five, but two of them being Avalanche. Or sorry, sorry, two of them being Glimpse Beyond. We don't... It's like, are we ever going to actually play Glimpse Beyond? Feels weird. It feels like the Glimpse Beyond should probably be Avalanches. Or more... We're not maxed out on the five mana cards, Grasp and Withering Whale. Maybe we need more Grasp, Withering Whale. I don't know. I'm playing it as is. You know, I'm playing it as as the donation deck. But those are those are some things to think about. All right, Ruination does seem pretty good in this matchup, but I probably need to just mulligan it. We have to find. We gotta find find our ramp spell. Yes, Catalyst of Aeon. So that's the most important thing. All right, now I'd like to draw another Ruination. <laughs> Vanyip's such a noisy cat. I think they went a little overboard on the noises with Vanyip, to be honest, with the meows. Vanyips, after I said that. I love a man with style. Heard it all before. I see the Nebastian border from here. First we fight, show me your best. Delicious. She who wanders looking pretty expensive. It's not not what you really want. You don't really want to mulligan into drawing two she who wanders. It's looking pretty expensive. Yeah, we could really use a ruination. Maybe I maybe I should have kept Ruination. Oh, I can't play that next turn, can I? I'm gonna have eight mana. I have eleven total. Something ancient. It is the only thing I can play. I, I think the Unyielding Spirit nerfs just fine. I mean, it like it. It's still a very good. It's still a very playable card. It's still a very playable card. Fifty-four mana hand. <laughs> Let's see, ten. Yeah, right now we have uh, ten, twenty, thirty, forty-one, <laughs> forty. Uh, I guess fifty, fifty-two, fifty, fifty-four. I think we have fifty-four right now. Just pretty silly. Yeah, 
And even though I want to play War Mother's Call, we just have to stay alive. I don't even get to. I really wish I would have kept the Ruination. Yeah, She Who Honors is not Obliterate Champions. The only card, like... The only card right now would obliterate would be the Mighty Poro. War Mason, reporting for you. All right, just keep the ruination. Lesson learned. Uh, we did find the the ramp spells that were like the most important thing. But would have much rather had Ruination than She Who Wanders and Commander Ledros, that's for sure. No catalyst yet. Yay, catalyst. Yeah, I could see this being avalanche. I could definitely see that. Uh, probably want Averroes and Hearthguard this next turn. That would be my best draw. Maybe not. Maybe Avros and Hearthguard are not so good if they're just going to be nabbing everything. The War Mother will no! It took my Hearthguard. Ugh. <laughs> so awkward. I just can't play anything. Man, our cards are expensive. So what, I Withering Whale away Black Market Merchant, I guess? Gain one life. Wait till after damage, but it's just the same thing. So yeah, we're, we're gonna see how this curves. You know, we actually get to play, we can play a Nivea attack. We can let a Nivea die. Then now we can rekindle her next turn. A world in perfect state. Wow, no blocks. All right, well, I mean, their life total, I realize that their life total doesn't matter that much. Today we fight as one! Heavy pockets, huh? I protect this place. They're out there. I'll spot them. You can see the Nebastian border from here. You think I should just block the 5-3 and just let it die and then rekindle alert? Alright, well here's our time for our glimpse beyond to shine.
Okay, my poor little spider. All right, so that turns on plunder again. They're gonna be nabbing stuff. Look out for reavers. Well, Glyphs Beyond has been drawn to some cards. So nine mana next turn can Ledros if we want. That's probably what we're gonna want to do. Twist of Fates three out of eight. Gotta make sure we kill that thing before it levels up. And then next turn, she who wanders. We'll see if, if they get rid of my Anivia. I can't really she who wanders next turn because then that doesn't kill Twisted Fate. We have we have another Anivia in hand. Uh, that's an Anivia's Harsh Winds. So we do have another Anivia in hand. Please, I have connections. Leveled up a Nivea. Just gonna attack with a Nivea right now and kind of see what happens. They play more. More things why that like she who wanders obliterates will do that. If we need to vengeance this twisted fate because they keep it alive somehow, like twin discipline stuff like that, we can do that. Um, you know, just got options. Got options. I will be reborn.
bale site. I don't think don't think they're leveling up Twisted Fate right now. Alright, we got rid of one card from hand only. A Citrus Courier from hand. Will of Ionia is really good against our deck. I took my War Mother's Call. Together again, huh? We're just one grave. They rude. Full house. They rude. Sorry, astonishing. Eternal We've just been getting so many donation decks. I've just been doing so many donation decks all the time. So you can either grasp to kill it, or it could harsh winds, and they don't gain any life. And they go down to I guess four. Yeah, they go down to four. Brace yourself. It's just harsh winds. Doesn't kill it, but we got more harsh winds where that came from. So bad. I think will then be a six one. I don't think the Agnivia will have vulnerable, as far as I know. Uh, Alright, well that's now this is bad. Should've just gone harsh winds. That. Oh, they passed. Well then. Looking for trouble. It found you. That's good for us. This is our time. So I can Ledros put them down to two. Attack with the Nivea, they die. Um, we'll do that. They can have something that doesn't allow our Nivea to attack. Or another, like, deny or something like that. Hey, noob loco. How's the partner? Pretty good. Quit smoking.
Yeah, they've already used two denies. And then I still have uh, Harsh Winds plus Catalyst on the way back. If they are able to stay alive. I have like six mana Anivia though. No, next, next time we get new cards in a new region is going to be August. So in, in two months. For now, last week of August. All right. Maybe a trigger. We're two and one. The cycle is complete. No, if War Mother's... Pulls a card with Puff Caps. It does not do damage. You don't, you don't draw the card. Puff Caps only do damage whenever you draw cards, and you're not drawing the card. You're just putting something into play. So no, it doesn't do damage. Yeah, you can maybe put Anivia in like a yeah in a barrel deck for her attack trigger. Could do some work. This is the kind of deck that we lost to last time. We found Catalyst. We want Ruination. Um, Ruination's really good. I kind of wish we had a third Ruination over like a over one of the She Who Wanders. Maybe we should just have a third Ruination. Yeah, you tell him, Cap. But I like this curve of turn three catalyst, turn four hearth guard. That's kind of like our strongest curve. I found my family, um, my or you know, sometimes it'll just be turn four the rash. Probably want to go hearth guard. I don't know, thrash it ain't bad either though. Okay. Plan is ruination. Let's go hearth guard. You must teach me when you have time. Don't think about it. Dang. It's nothing personal. We ramping. Please work. Please don't have another Elixir of Iron. Oh, come on, our transfusion. Ugh. Now they just get to create another Crimson in hand. That's how they got this Aristocrat the first time. Yeah, just attack like that. No more attacks. Have six cards more than I do, even 
if I get like a five for one here, they'll still have more cards than I do. Uh. Oh well. Everyone bleeds for the right fries. Okay, so the curator did create that curator. Oh, think about it. Stop. I hope this obliterates a bunch of stuff in their hand. Ugh. Okay, obliterated three things in their hand. We got... Curator, Disciple, and Aristocrat. Nice. It's nothing personal. <sighs> so if they have a pump spell, I lose. Which, what else do they have in hand besides pump spells? No pump spell. We don't lose. Still alive. Come on in. Who gets tossed? All right, we know one card is the the crimson card that they created. That's still in their hand. We don't get to... If we play Anivia, we don't get to double spell with anything else. So I'm going to go Hearthguard plus Thresh. Many tribes under one banner. Rather double spell. I didn't have that last turn. Kill me. Great draw. Great draw. Only the strong survive. I wish we had a warning shot. Option is Frostbite. These two take zero. I have Hearthguard die, Frostbite, Sejuani, plus Kindly Tavern Keeper, and then if they have something that does the plus three, I lose. But we keep Hearthguard around. I think we got to make sure we don't die. I think that's the most important thing, because hopefully a Nivea trigger just kills them. Okay. So now that's going to frostbite the Shiki Wanders. All right, Nivia, finish this off. Oh, I'm sorry. I went to go pet the cat. Oh yeah. The cycle is complete. 
but they conceded. <laughs> yeah, the Von the Von Yip is constant commentary. I think they went just a tad bit overboard with the the meows. Yeah, they did just took 11 hits twice. Bye, Swain. Oh, that's probably a burn deck. All right, keep this. Probably need to keep that too. Oh no. Catalyst. Why can't you just be Avalanche? Okay. Not a burn deck. I thought this could be like a burn deck just, you know, hidden. Oh, maybe it is a burn deck hidden. Secret burn deck. <laughs> Look how happy the cat was. Von Yip. Yep's moody. <laughs> when you're starting adverse burn costs 30 mana. <laughs> it's not the best spot to be in. What's our hand cost right now? Let's see. 12. 24 plus 14 is 38 plus 9 is 47 plus 4 51 50 Averosans, stand together. one mana of cards that's a lot So I don't, I don't want to cast like either of these because I want to have the mana available. You know, like I need to save some mana. Like I couldn't really spend extra mana because if I spend extra mana, I don't get to Vengeance. Our cards are too expensive. Don't get to play two mana cards. Need to save that mana. Oh, I can't wait. No. Put a nice ruination and kill everything. By my hand, Noxus rides. Lead us Ugh. to victory, Grand General. I don't want to take that four damage though. I'm just hoping they play something first. Nope. GG's. So I could have taken four damage and then ruination, and then they still play Swain, and I'm still the. Uh, but that, then, I, then I would have had vengeance for Swain. All right, I should have just taken the four damage and ruination. This is the most expensive cards in our deck versus the burn deck. Yeah, we can live at one against the burn deck. That's that. That's not gonna win. <laughs> There's no chance we we win it. I mean, I guess I could have just cast the Vile Feast and gone to one against the burn deck. But, I mean, come on, they're gonna do one damage to us. Yeah, you know, like we drew 
<laughs> we, so we drew two Vengeance, uh, a Ruination, two She Who Wanders, two Warm Mother's Call. So seven of the top, uh, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, seven of the top eleven cards. I mean, our, our deck's super, super greedy mana-wise anyway. I'd have to say I wasn't actually really that impressed with She Who Wanders. I could see it being like a one-of maybe, but I really wasn't impressed with this card, even with the regeneration. I could see it basically being like just a one-of, maybe. Um, but yeah, I think I think that the deck needs more, more ramp, uh, more early stuff, kind of like you know, Glimpse Beyond also just real slow. I, I would, I would like, let's see, if we play just one She Who Wanders, uh, probably not three Harsh Winds, even though the Harsh Winds weren't bad, but I, I, that's just a lot of still expensive cards. That could get you some Avalanches. Where's Avalanche? I wonder if you just need the box, not the avalanche right now. There's a lot of... I'm sorry. Um, honestly, probably the box... There's so much stuff that's 3 health right now. So many champions are 3 health. Crimson Disciple is everywhere at 3 health. The Crimson Disciple, Crimson Curator. Um... Maybe you just need the box. And then, you know, like your misfortunes, just so much stuff. Oh, Harvey. Um, let's see. What do I want to put in here besides that? Uh, I wanted to put in... Um... Weirding Stones. Maybe we get some Weirding Stones. Maybe that could help. So like some Weirding Stones, maybe some Boxes, and then like an Avalanche. You know, just kind of like that kind of stuff. Um, you could use Matron to, to drop She Who Wanders earlier. Maybe just Chronicler of Ruin. Maybe, you know, like maybe instead of some of the stuff, maybe some Chronicler of Ruins. That Chronicler's, Chron Chronicler of Ruins, good, you know, with this stuff. It's good with Hearthguard. It's obviously good with Anivia. It's great with Rekindler. Chronicler of Ruin can actually do a whole bunch of stuff. It's just good with everything, and that's also a 4 mana 3-3, three, three, so, you know, it can block stuff on turn 4 and trade with things with 4 mana. You, we'd want another century. If you'd play another, if you play Chronicler of Ruin, you'd want more centuries. Like if you want, um, you could go that route also with like centuries and then a couple Chronicler of Ruins to give you some other stuff. Yeah, we don't level up Thresh that often, but Thresh is it's a three six, which is huge, and it's you. It's supposed to be a turn four play. Like Thresh, Thresh is really good in here because it's a turn four play. Because the best hands have Catalyst of Aeons on turn 3, and then turn 4 we have 5 mana, so we want to drop either Hearthguard or Thresh, and those are both really good cards to play um, on turn 4. That's the ideal scenario. But, I don't know, those are some other things to think of. Uh, I do think that the curve needs to be dropped some, though. I think I think it is too too heavy, as we saw with with those games. It was just simply too heavy. All right, but that's it here for War Mother's Control. Those of you all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know if you've been playing some Anivia um, in this kind of deck. Feel free to you know leave leave your uh, deck code there in the comments or a link to your deck list uh, if you got some other um, kind of cool War Mother's decks um, as well. Uh, so then the you know other good suggestions for the the person that donated for this one. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some more Mother's Control, and I'll see you for the next video.